Have you ever heard of the Kristen Smart case? For nearly 25 years, this case has remained a mystery, but thanks to investigative journalist Chris Lambert, the truth is finally being uncovered. In this video, we will explore the most disturbing details of the Kristen Smart case, the evidence found, and the current status of the trial. Stay tuned to find out more. The case against Paul and Ruben Flores, who were accused of the murder of college student Kristen Smart nearly 25 years ago, has reached a crucial point as their last witness took the stand. Paul is currently waking up behind bars while police have arrested his father as an accessory. Although evidence has been found, Kristen's body has not yet been located, and her family has been searching for answers for decades. Kristen Smart vanished in the early hours of May 25, 1996, after allegedly becoming intoxicated and passing out on a neighbor's lawn. Two fellow students offered to help, but Paul Flores has stepped in. Kristen was never seen again. Despite an array of items of interest, no solid leads emerged, and Kristen's disappearance sparked a change in legislation to ensure student safety. Kristen was born in Germany to two American military teachers and grew up in California. She was adventurous and had a great love for the ocean. After working as a lifeguard and camp counselor in Hawaii, she enrolled at California Polytechnic State University to study architecture before changing her major to communication studies. During Memorial Day weekend in 1996, Kristen attended an off-campus birthday party and was last seen with Paul Flores, who offered to help take her back to her residence hall. Witness statements from the party varied, and some believed she was possibly given a date rape drug. Cheryl Anderson, who had helped Kristen walk back to her dorm, noticed Paul's odd behavior and even suggested that Cheryl go ahead as they tried to catch up. Paul claimed he walked Kristen to the intersection of the hallways that led off to both their respective residence halls. Kristen Smart has not been seen or heard from since then. For years, Kristen's case remained unsolved until Chris Lambert's podcast shed light on the mystery, leading to the arrest of Paul and Ruben Flores. Although Kristen's body has not been found, her family finally has hope for justice. Despite evidence pointing toward Paul, former Sheriff Ed Williams admitted he saw no way of completing Kristen Smart's case, leaving authorities frustrated. In response, the Smart family filed a wrongful death charge, but the court decided against proceeding with it. Meanwhile, Kristen's case remained an active criminal investigation, and Paul and his family refused to address the accusations or the case. Allegations surfaced that Paul had joked about Kristen's disappearance, but he shielded himself from questioning by obtaining a lawyer. Six years after Kristen's disappearance, Denise Smart's confession brought bittersweet closure However, the case remained unsolved, and the lack of answers haunted many, including Chris Lambert. Having been eight years old when Kristen went missing, Chris became fixated on the case and quit his job to work on a podcast investigating it full-time. With no formal training, he began asking questions to get people talking, and his determination paid off when he met Kristen's mother and developed a strong relationship with the Smart family. Chris's podcast, In Your Own Backyard, gained national attention and over 11 million downloads as it followed Kristen Smart's case. Chris was able to attain interviews with people related to the case, including witnesses who were overlooked or reluctant to speak, uncovering allegations that remained speculations for years. One former colleague of Paul's mother claimed that she complained about not sleeping well after her husband received a call in the middle of the night during Memorial Day weekend. Another tenant claimed that an alarm would go off every morning after Kristen's disappearance. A third interview with an Australian exchange student revealed a possible altercation between Kristen and Paul, with the student claiming to have seen Kristen fighting off Paul on the night she disappeared. Chris's podcast shed new light on Kristen's case, prompting authorities to take action. In April 2021, Paul Flores was charged with first-degree murder, and his father was charged with being an accessory to murder. Kristen Smart's case shows the power of investigative journalism and the importance of not giving up on seeking justice. The disappearance of Kristen Smart in 1996 had long remained a mystery, but investigative journalist Chris Lambert made significant progress in uncovering the truth in his podcast, Your Own Backyard. Through interviews with various individuals, several theories emerged, including the possibility that Paul Flores had given Kristen a black eye during a fight, and that his father, Ruben Flores, had helped cover up the crime by burying her body in their backyard. However, the investigation also revealed disturbing allegations of misconduct by Paul towards women, including sexual assault and physical violence. Despite attempts to contact him for an interview, Paul remained elusive, and his family denied any involvement in the case. Nevertheless, the podcast prompted a renewed investigation into the case, resulting in the seizure of evidence from Paul's properties, including date rape drugs and videos of him sexually assaulting young women. He was subsequently arrested on firearm charges, while a search of Ruben's property using cadaver dogs led to his arrest as an accessory after the fact. In September 2021, a judge ruled that there was enough evidence to proceed to trial, which began in July 2022. Deputy District Attorney Chris Paverell described to the jury the family's grief over Kristen's disappearance and the alleged involvement of both Paul and Ruben in her death and disposal. The case serves as a reminder of the importance of investigative journalism in uncovering the truth and bringing justice to victims and their families. Paul Flores is currently on
on trial for the murder of Kristen Smart, a Cal Poly student who disappeared in 1996. Despite extensive searches, her body has never been found, and there is no DNA evidence linking Paul to her disappearance. However, his defense attorney, Robert Sanger, is questioning the evidence presented against him, stating that there is no proof of what happened to Kristen after Paul left her at her dorm. Throughout the trial, many women have come forward accusing Paul of harassment and inappropriate sexual misconduct. Two women, referred to as Rondado and Serrato, testified that they felt uncharacteristically drunk after meeting Paul, and both woke up to him abusing them. Their graphic testimonies left jurors in tears, prompting Judge Jennifer O'Keefe to call for a recess. Testimony surrounding the search for Paul's father's home also caused emotional distress for the jurors. With investigators and experts recounting graphic details, it was not unusual for jurors to break down emotionally. The prosecution presented damning evidence from Jennifer Hudson, who claimed that Paul had told her he buried Kristen beneath his ramp in his backyard in Honasna. However, Sanger questioned her reliability, pointing out her recreational use of drugs and alcohol, and implying that she was not answering truthfully. Hudson acknowledged her lack of action in notifying the police, stating that she only came forward after a podcast aired. Overall, the trial has been emotionally charged, with graphic testimonies and evidence presented against Paul Flores. However, his defense attorney is questioning the validity of the evidence, and the case remains ongoing. Sanger further questioned Hudson on whether she thought Kristen Smart was buried in Susan Flores's backyard. She reportedly responded that made the most sense. When Sanger pursued that Hudson had affiliations with motorcycle gang members, the line of questioning was objected to by prosecutors. The judge sided with the prosecution. During cross-examination by Paverell, he asked Hudson to explain a previous statement in which she said she felt responsible for the misery of the Smart family. Hudson responded by stating that she had not been a coward. She would have come forward earlier. After her testimony, Hudson reportedly broke down in tears unexpectedly. Court proceedings were halted after Hudson's testimony, with no reason given by the judge. The trial is expected to continue through September 2022. For the Smart family, an emotional decades-long search for the truth is finally coming to an end. Yet their heartbreak over losing their daughter never will. Where other victims of Paul Flores, old wounds are being reopened. For Chris Lam Lambert, the quest for justice has finally begun. Kristen Smart can finally rest at peace as her killer may soon be held accountable. No longer just a face on a billboard, Kristen's story is being laid bare for all to hear, and for all to share in the triumph and relief of seeing her killer face his just dues. As the trial of Paul Flores for the murder of Kristen Smart continues, her family and friends are still waiting for justice to be served. The case has captured the attention of the public, highlighting the power of investigative journalism and the importance of not giving up on seeking the truth. While there may never be full closure for the Smart family. The trial provides hope for justice to be served and for Kristen's memory to be honored. We will continue to follow this case closely and hope that justice is finally served for Kristen Smart. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.